What is stream orientation? Thought you'd never ask? Let's talk about it. Hey folks, welcome back to my first video of 2026. In my last video, I was talking about wide characters. Check it out if you missed it, but I got a little sloppy at the end. Some of you pointed it out. Thank you for doing that. And so in this video, I wanna to try to set things right and teach you something that I didn't teach you in the last one. Before I do, a huge thanks to all of you who support this channel on Patreon where you can get access to my monthly office hours and all source code from all of my videos. It's also where you can watch my videos ad-free. I couldn't do this without your help, so thank you so much for those of you who do find a way to support this channel. But now, let's take a look at the code, basically where we ended last time. Okay, so here is where we left off. I was showing you a few of the many functions that are designed to work with wide characters, like wprintf here. And the problem with this code, though, is that I called printf, and then I called wprintf. And then I called printf again. And last time I was running on my Mac here and it worked okay, it seemed to work okay, right? We ran our example and things seemed to print out just fine, but it could have just as easily have crashed or produced weird output because we are now in undefined territory. You see, in C, with the introduction of wide characters came the idea of a stream's orientation. So a stream can be byte-oriented, meaning that it will work with functions like printf that produced byte-oriented output, or it can be wide-oriented and it can work with functions like wprintf that produce wide character output. And if you use a byte-oriented function with a wide-oriented stream or vice versa, you get undefined behavior. It could work fine, as it just did for me in this example, or it could crash or produce strange output. And just to show you one example, so if, so I just ran this on my Mac, if I switch, I'm running uh, Linux in a virtual machine here, and if we clean it, sorry, make clean, and we recompile, and if we run this example, you notice that I don't get all of my output. Some of it just isn't produced. Specifically, my wprintf call right here does not produce any output. And that's not fun. As a general rule, we never wanna write programs where we can't predict how they're gonna behave when we run them. So how do I know what orientation my stream has? Well, there is a function that can help us figure this out, and that is a function called fwide. Okay, so this odd little function, let's just come in here and uh, so like, let's say up here before we call printf, I can just say int orientation equals fwide and we wanna Check standard out, and I'm gonna pass in zero. Now, okay, so what FY does here is it does two things. We can either check to see what the orientation our stream has, or we can set its orientation. So just to start off with, let's just read it. So I have an int variable, it's gonna store the orientation, and then we're gonna call f wide. We are calling it with standard out, so we're saying, hey, this standard out stream, I wanna know what its orientation is. When I pass in zero, so I think this is a little bit odd, but if I pass in a negative value, any negative value, it will try to set the orientation to be byte oriented. If I pass in a positive value, again, any positive value, it will try to set it to wide oriented. And if I pass in zero, as I am right here, then it will leave it unchanged and it will, in either case, it's gonna return the orientation. Again, negative for byte-oriented, positive for wide-oriented, and zero for, uh, well, I guess unde undecided yet. Okay, so let's, so we'll read it here, we're gonna, we're gonna get our orientation, and then let's just add it here and just add percent uh, %d, and we will add our orientation to this first printf statement. And then let's also just add this again after the printf. Okay, so we're gonna, after printf, we're gonna see what happens after printf. And again, let's just tag on, just like we did before, we're gonna put another percent %d up here in the wprintf call, and we'll add orientation. And let's just keep doing this. Um, we'll do this, do it here, and then put orientation equals percent %d here. Okay, so there we're gonna check it a bunch of times, then we're gonna print it out each time. So then if we come down here and we compile it, and we run it, and then you can see what happens. The orientation, at first, it starts out undecided, right? With first time we get it a zero back. After that first printf call though, when we read it again, from then on we're going to get a negative one, which is telling us that we are byte oriented. Now if I switch back, let's switch back to my Mac really quick where everything gets printed out. 
Okay, so here again, same thing though. You see zero, undecided, and then after here, it is negative one and negative one. So even though we're calling w printf, it's still byte oriented. So we are calling w printf, this line, with a byte oriented string, and this is the big problem. This is the undefined territory that we don't want to get into. And the main idea here is that basically the first thing that happens to that stream sets the orientation, and subsequent operations do not change it back. So for example, let's say that we came in here and we decided we were not going to have this first printf. So the first thing that happens on this program is this w printf call. So we're going to read the orientation. So same thing as before, but we're just taking out this, this printf and reading the orientation using f wide. And so now if we compile it, oh, I gotta save it. Now you can see, okay, we have zero, and now our orientation, even though we're calling byte-oriented functions down here, our, we have a positive value, we have one. So basically we're wide-oriented now. And like I said, on Mac OS, it seems to be okay, it seems to be printing everything, but not if we switch over here to Linux. And here in this case, you notice we only printed out once because none of the byte-oriented output actually does anything. But if we put this back in, of course, we'll, we will see it come back. Okay, so now you understand what a stream's orientation is, what it means, so what do we do about it? Well, the most common advice is to pick an orientation and then just stick to the functions that work with that orientation. If you have a good reason to switch, maybe you know you got something funky going on, you have been working on a stream in byte-oriented fashion, and all of a sudden you have a really good reason to switch, then you're going to need to reopen the stream using freopen. Okay, so you can see that here. So if you're able to reopen a stream, then that's going to reset the stream's orientation and it will allow you to set it again. But the easiest thing to do really is to just not mix functions that use different orientations in your programs. So I hope this helps. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next video.